<laughs> just unboxing myself today. Ah, oh, how are we all? Oh, just crawled out of the big self unboxing this morning. It's uh, our largest box ever on the show today. You're watching Coogs' Tool Shed. Uh, welcome back. Today we're getting back into whipper snippers. Um, I wasn't really in, in the box there, it was CGI. It's still sealed. What we've got today is a Makita um, brushless combo whipper snipper. Remember the Mil Milwaukee one that that sucked and it was a, you could clip on the whip snipper and the attachments there. Uh, it, was, it wasn't up to the job, so I got a, a rival brand to try out. And, um, cool. La this is the last straw with whipper snippers. I'm not getting another one if this should fail to impress. Uh, for obvious reasons. Oh, no. I was going to show you the sticker there. What we're dealing with brushless includes a whipper snipper or brush cutter attachment but what you actually get there we've got a it comes with a pole saw in this box and an extending pole um, all your batteries charging all the gear it's in it's all in that box that's why it's so big let's get into it Always be careful with knives. Don't rush with them. Dangerous. Should really have gloves on. Anyhow, that's that's good. That's what the entry looks like. It's a, looking like a good box. Uh, a lot of space in there. Actually, a lot of boxes in there too. Give you guys a look. What what we're dealing with here. boxes upon boxes because it's a combo kit I suppose everything is in its own its own packaging and it's just been all compiled together like that uh, someone's beaten me to that one looks like it's been someone's been getting on the piss looks like a carton of Bottles would have been in there. Might just be packer, so that you didn't crush all the tools in there. Oh! First up, your grass trimmer attachment, which is essentially why I bought the whole thing, was to trim my grass. It's been a while. You can probably see a lot of it here. It's getting a bit out of hand, especially around the edges. Right. Nice box. Um, if you remember, the last time I unboxed a whipper snipper, I certainly do. It all it was a out the end kind of open. It was really difficult. Nikita has already gone one better than the red one and just pop it open on the side easy access to everything safety guard safety first always take that out of the box first uh you got your the bit that spins so that'll clip onto there i'm not going to assemble it in front of the camera because it's boring for you to watch and also because reading them assuming that i even can or do rather uh, it's it's boring to watch so I'll just fast forward and show you it at the end when it's all finished that's item one anyhow bit of a treat for you for you lot today it's a multi multi vid I guess multiple unboxing because I, I could have ended it at that that's unboxed happy day see you next week but no you got you're looking at three three alternate boxes in there 
is trouble. Pulse or attachment. Now, I didn't particularly need one of these, but it came in the kit and I said, bugger it. I'm getting one. I'm gonna do some sawing that I never thought I would need to do. So, uh, there it is. Nice and bagged up. And there, my friends. Always be very careful with this. Like, it's a crime that it actually didn't come with safety gear, but oh, you, your chain's in the separate bag, so you can't hurt yourself on it. Straight away, I guess. You've got to semi-know what you're doing to be able to put it together. So I guess if you can put it together, you can put some face shield on and save yourself from trouble. Uh, it also comes with one of these. I think this is a weapon, kind of like an imitation of Wolverine. You, you hold it like that and... If someone attacks you, you can be like, oh, that sticks out and he's got five of them, but he's, he goes looking for trouble. If you're just a guy in your yard trying to do some pole soaring, one's enough. Maybe if a magpie's swooping you. <laughs> anyway. Next, we have Part number LE400MP. The shaft extension attachment. And this box is actually taped. So, I can use this from the previous one. and Just chop that tape down there because I don't want to use the knife again today. I've got into a bit of bit of strife on the light on the first box okay and this one is a pole just like it said I guess it's a, it's a pole to make your thing longer um, so it's pretty easy it, it, they give you a manual to operate it anyway but you know at the end of the day it, it's a pole and it makes makes you get to reach places you couldn't reach or it, maybe if you whipper snipping you just stand in one spot and whipper snip around and you then put the pole on and you can whipper snip further so it's less steps around the yard I guess it's good a good idea everything so far has had this nice rubber handle on it too so you're not going to drop it last one uh, Oh, been enjoying this. It's sad that it's coming to an end, actually. Maybe I could do a two-part video, actually, and unbox that in next week. <laughs> Who could wait, hey? It's like Christmas. Keeps is being a good boy this year, because look at all these prezzies. And there you go. The first box is emptied. Uh, you could... You know, turn that into a dog kennel or something, a ferret shelter. Who knows? Just burn it even, whatever. Uh, again, just the top, the top entry box opening. It's so much easier than, you know, you get it from the end and you've got to like, try and shake the things out the end. It's just not necessary. It's a waste of energy, but that, green <laughs> there it is there's the actual tool the the motor that runs the drain um shadowing out a bit there but there it is active three controls uh ergonomics star protection computer controls forced air cooling system ah cools your batteries down isn't that a good idea Stop some melting, I guess. Great, uh, let's get in there. So here are the batteries. Wrapped in, uh, gonna have a bit of fun with that later. Pop, bubble wrap, always a party. Uh, a little baggie. 
Oh yeah. Your handles, uh, like your steering wheel and seat belt and everything's in the nice bag so you don't lose it. Um, brake cable for your pushy. Don't see why that's relevant, but there you go. A couple of brackets. Make sure we don't lose that stuff. Otherwise there won't be a second half of the video where I show, show you it in action. <laughs> oh yeah, manuals and yes. Get a poster. Poster for the shed to show you all the possibilities of Nikita. You can buy, collect them all. If they're like Pokemon, you just 270 plus tools. Look at all that. Imagine the, the content on my channel if I got all of them. Fuck that. Now I suppose that's the, your charger. It's bloody big. Well, I guess if there's a fan in there, it's got to be. That's a serious looking bit of equipment. Two, two batteries, because this uh, tool actually runs off two batteries, so you're gonna wanna charge them both. Not charge one and then wait double the time, charge the other one and then take it for a spin. Charge them together. Partners in crime. It's good. Now, yeah, last but not least, is... Uh, what we're, that's what we're really looking at. Uh, nicely um, balanced bit of equipment. It's got, if you put your hand about there on the rubber grip, it seems to weigh evenly on each side. Of course, when you pop the batteries in there, that goes out the window, but possibly your attachment on the end will counteract the battery weight. That tightens it up. I guess the red button, emergency stop. Um, yeah, you got some controls here, but I'll go over that when I've put it together and turned it on and charged the batteries, mind you, because yeah, you don't want to be watching me for however long that takes, listening to the fan spin around in the charging and wait for him to charge. But um, I think that's where you strap your seatbelt to as well, by the way, so you don't drop it. Oh, here, you your little warning signs. Don't. Uh, read, don't read while you're trying to. Oh, there's no cross through it, so maybe read, read about it online or something. And that's a cloud. Don't use it in the rain because you'll get wet and it's electric, so you'll get electrocuted. So, fuck. Be careful with it. I'll be careful putting it together for the next couple of moments and then I'll resume the video for you. Cool. Alright, finish with my bubble wrap and I'll finish putting the tool together. There it is everyone. Six box unboxing extravaganza. Unbox the pole. Unbox the the unit itself, the whipper snipper attachment, the pole saw, and then the big mega box that she all came in. That's all completed our largest unboxing on the show ever. Um, they've all been really great boxes. That packaging, the side opening box usually, and it, they've got these cardboard inserts instead of styrofoam, which I hate because it's bad for the planet. But Makita's done a really good job minimizing their plastic use. It's, they're great boxes. Uh, it's going to be a shame to burn them, but anyway. Uh, the important thing is, I've put together the whipper snipper, the weed trimmer, the weed eater, the line trimmer, the brush cutter, all in one. Charge my batteries, they sit in there. Uh, let's go turn it on. how to use it yet because I haven't done that yet. Here! Make sure that's in pro. 
hopefully. Post it quick. There we go. We're on. Turn it back on, of course. That's the first run. Brand new weed eater. I'll take care of me hot water system there. That's good. Good for access if you've ever got to crawl in behind the hot water system or any for any reason. Um, happy with the tool. Happy with the unboxing. It's all gone well. I didn't get a demo of the pole saw because I haven't got any bar oil. You've got to put oil in that or you'll you'll wreck it. Um, but there it is. Uh, brand new weed eater. God luck and good speed to you all. I've got to go and take care of some stuff and I'll see you on the next episode. And oh yeah, um, got me old tote t-shirt on here, the sawn off t-shirt, just as a, a little extra bit. We all love the tote, it's a, one of the best music venues in the country. They're trying to save it at the moment from developers who want to buy it and wreck it, but if someone else buys it, they'll make it be music venue forevermore. So um, I'll leave just down here a link to uh, the, the donation site on the internet there where you can chip in a bit and raise the cash to save it. Um, maybe I'll even buy a demolition tool to the fitting on here if Makita have one that demolishes apartment buildings and rewinds them into pubs and that if, it, if they've got one out in the range yet I'll check the poster anyway see ya it whips and it snips and it has no spirits mama keep a whipper snipper gets all the looks of gardeners shaking their heads mama keep a whipper snipper some like a two-stroke some folks like to mow when I feel like rambling, I just charge my Makita and go. Yeah. Unbox some KT.